guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so nikon finally has announced um, nikon z50 which is uh, an aps-c camera mirrorless camera so it is out in the market now so it's a bit more compact smaller in size than its uh, nikon z6 and nikon z7 and let's see uh, how it uh, compares to the Nikon Z6 as, as far as its specifications are concerned. I will go through all its specs one by one and compare them against uh, Nikon Z6. So first of all let's talk about uh, the sensor. The effective megapixels in uh, Nikon Z50 is 20.9 million as compared to 24.5 million which is in Nikon Z6. So uh, Nikon Z6 has uh, uh, more megapixels and larger sensor as compared to Nikon Z50 and this comes in handy when you are you know printing out your uh, work okay then uh, if we talk about ISO sensitivity of the sensor then uh, Nikon Z50 can go down to 100 but you know Nikon Z, um, Z6 it can go down to 50 so this is uh, another thing then uh, let's talk about the storage how what is the file size and everything so Nikon Z6 is offering you four different kind of uh, options on the other hand Nikon Z50 is offering you only three options TIFF option is not av available in Nikon Z6 and as far as the uh, memory cards are concerned uh, Nikon Z50 does not have a XQD card okay then comes its viewfinder uh, the viewfinder in Nikon Z6 is uh, it has more dots and uh, its size is uh, a bit bigger than Nikon Z50. So personally I expect Nikon Z6 uh, EVF to be a bit more crispier and a bit more clearer. But you know this is a very small portion of uh, something so we don't have to go into the details. So I think hopefully Nikon Z50 will equally work well with this uh, smaller size of EVF. Mm -hmm. Then if you see frame coverage for both of them, the frame coverage is uh, the whole screen horizontally and vertically. So no problems there at all. Then if you talk about monitor, so um, this Nikon Z50, its monitor can tilt up to 180 degree which is not the case for Nikon Z6 although the mo monitor is smaller in Nikon Z50 but uh, this 180 degree uh, tilt is very useful when you are you know doing this YouTube vlogging and um, you're taking selfies and all these things but okay, then uh, comes the shutter speed uh, shutter speed for Nikon Z6 you can go down to one uh, eight thousandths of a second and then you have this uh, X200 mode as well which is not available in Nikon uh, Z50. Nikon Z50 can do go down to one four thousandth of a second. Okay this is the main difference. Then if you talk about flash sync speed it is the same in, um, in both these systems. Okay for those people who are interested in uh, photographing the moving objects like birds or uh, you can say jet planes and all those things then this feature comes in very uh, handy and Nikon Z6 can uh, shoot up to 12 frames per second and Nikon Z50 can shoot up to 11 frames per second so a slight edge to Nikon Z6 autofocus they have the same kind of autofocus the the technique is the same and if you compare it with Sony you know for some of the photographers I, I don't possess any Sony myself so for some of the photographers I have seen that they they complain about this a lot the, the autofocus is not as quick as we get in Sony so as far as my Zy Nikon Z6 is concerned I'm happy with its autofocus no problems at all it, it serves my need then uh, the number of focus points Focus points uh, in Nikon Z50 are 209, while in Nikon Z6 they are 273. So large difference, but you know this this is not an issue at all. Okay, then uh, uh, comes the movie. Nikon Z6 is one of the best cameras as far as your videography is con concerned. And uh, if you talk about the kind of formats or the frame size then both of them are offering the same frame size both of them 
shoot continuously for 30 minutes then you have to shoot another 30 minutes and this is how it works but as far as the frame size is concerned both have the same but here i want to point out one thing nikon z6 has ibis on the other hand nikon z50 does not have ibis you have more options available in nikon z6 as compared to the nikon z50 time lapse is available in both and then it has electronic vibration reduction i don't know how its electronic vibration reduction will work so let's wait and get a hand on nikon z50 and see what happens okay then comes the interfaces both of them have usb available then hdmi and audio input is available in both of them but audio output is only available in nikon z6 nikon z6 has type c connector which is super speed usb for the shooters like me we we should have you know this control over white balance and we should be able to control it manually so nikon z6 and nikon z50 both of them give this control to the photographer and the videographer so your temperature can vary from 2500 kelvin to 10,000 kelvin so this is basically it the differences between both the cameras are huge no doubt about it and that is the reason their price difference is also huge so for those of you who are shifting from dx format dslrs to dx format uh, mirrorless cams I think no problem at all but for those of us who are shooting full frame for me Nikon Z50 is a bit of a downgrade thank you very much and enjoy shooting